hello 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 and welcome to my channel my name is Charmaine and today I'm going to be doing a baby shower centerpiece my group the ladies in my group always ask me to um, show them the different things that I've been working on so I am working on this baby shower my daughter's having a baby and her shower is coming up really soon so I'm going to be doing a couple videos to um, show you how I designed her baby shower I already done a video on the invitations to the baby shower I'm also gonna be doing one for the um, thank you cards and a couple more things I'm going to be doing but today I'm going to be doing the centerpiece okay so let's get started first we're going to go to upload here's the baby I'm going to be using I click on that then I go to insert images and I'm going to make her eight inches um, wide okay so let's go ahead and put in eight up here. I mean, first let's unlock it first and put in eight up here and enter. And y'all, I have a silhouette also, and I tried to do this a few minutes ago on silhouette so I can show y'all how to do it, but I still don't get silhouette. I've been watching videos, I've got everything written down, and I still messed it up. So I'm still I'm still gonna bring y'all silhouette videos for those who've been asking me to do silhouette videos but I am still learning and I do not want to get up there and mess up anything even though I don't mind showing y'all my mistakes but I still want to get it I have everything right on its designing part in the silhouette but I just can't get it to print right like my machine didn't want to come when when it, it just didn't work the machine don't cooperate with the design or whatever but I can I can design in silhouette I just don't know how to use the printer I mean I don't know how to use the cutter I always print out of silhouette and I print with um my printer but when it comes to cutting I have no clue I just got to get that step together okay so back to this video I'm just letting y'all know I will be bringing more videos with silhouette but I have to learn the, the use to cutter first you know okay so let me go ahead I'm making it a eight maybe a six this is the way I want it okay so then what for and the reason why I wanted to use silhouette because silhouette has the out offset button and it basically brings the offset around the baby with a quick push of a button okay but since now I want to use the offset in Cricut to I have to go through a whole lot of steps just to get a background on this baby okay well a, a outline on this baby because you do not want to cut and print this because this will just this Cricut knife will just jag this up okay and it just mess it up okay so you basically want to border around this baby so you don't have to worry about doing it it just be a straight line over the baby around the baby and when I did it with um silhouette, I just couldn't get the process down for printing it, okay? I mean for cutting it, I'm sorry. So let me go ahead and um now what I need to do is I size the baby the way I want it. And then we're gonna go ahead to make it. And then we're gonna have to go to send the printer. We'll continue. And then what I'm doing this because I have to um I need to bleed on the on the baby for me to be able to print it. I'm just gonna show you. Send a printer, and then you basically just add the bleed on there. So that the bleed is on there. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and um for my picture I can just um screenshot it. Okay, for my computer I have a Mac, but I don't know how you have to do it when you're doing with um with the PC. But for me I just take this and I just screenshot this. Okay, just like this, and then I just cancel all this because I don't need this anymore. I cancel out this again also. So I cancel out. Are you sure you want to cancel? Yes. Okay, cancel all the way back until you get back to your main screen. So I want I still want her on here, so let's leave her right here, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to upload and find the images I just saved. Okay, so I browse and it's gonna be right on my desktop. Let's go to my desktop and it's right here. Okay. So I'll go ahead and open her. Then I go to complex and I go to continue. And then I basically, I can make this a little bigger so you can see it. Okay. Now I need to do is go to get my eraser, make it big. Cause I'm just going to erase the black line around her. Not that big. <laughs> okay. Make it a little smaller. I'm sorry. Okay, and erase this um line. Ah, I don't want to get her foot. Okay, be careful not to touch her. My mouth's been acting crazy, so I'm going kind of slow. I 
okay and when you get that black line off then you can go ahead and click on this right here to select um to select and erase and then you go ahead and push you click on the other part okay so everything is off okay so then you go ahead and push continue and then you need to go to right here save as cut image you want this image right here okay you just want the you want the outline i mean you want the um oh let me go back i didn't get this why didn't i do that let's go back let's go we're gonna have to cancel and do it well, let's go back and see i'm gonna do it over again okay let's make this big i'm gonna go ahead and do this first okay so that's that's all done so now let me go ahead and um do the eraser get the eraser and get all this out of here just huh okay because we don't want, want that in there okay so we can go all the way around make it smaller now since we Okay, right here. Ooh, I'm kind of touching her a little bit. I really don't like this picture because I got it from this lady. I mean, everybody goes to her to get her this picture, but I don't like that black outline. So we're going to see if that's going to show in our picture, in our um project, okay? Let's see, it's my first time using this baby as far as a cut and print. I used it um as for a thank you card, but I just um make it smaller. I just printed it out and that black line didn't show. So we'll see how it works. Okay, so now everything looks good now. So let's go ahead and push continue. And this is what we need right here, okay? So we're going to go ahead and save this cut image. And then we're going to push save. Okay, and here she is. Okay, so click on it and push insert. And this is what we need to do now. Um, Basically, we have to flip her. Okay, just like that. I see some specs in here. So let's make her bigger and get this, this spec right here. You see this spec right here and this one right here? Since I didn't erase it, I got to go over here and erase it like this. So let's go to shapes. Whatever. It don't, make, it don't matter if you get a square or a circle. It don't matter. So let's go ahead and make it small. We can just get this out of here. Then I just basically highlight it. Oh, it moves out the way. Ah, yeah, that's fine. Move her out the way. And let's just highlight this. Because you got to highlight it because it's connected. Then we go ahead and push slice. Oh, I could have did two of them. Oh, no, I could, no, I couldn't. So then I'm just, just basically deleting all the stuff that I don't need, okay? That's how you delete. When you get a, a, a portion or a spot or anything on your um on your image you don't want, you just slice it out, okay? So the same thing, slice. Highlight everything, slice it out. Now the baby's by herself. Delete all this stuff right here. Get a spot right there. Delete it all. It's a spot right here too. It's a spot right here. Oh, oh, it is. Doggone it! I ain't see that one, y'all. And it will be. A, it will cut that. So you want to get rid of all this stuff, okay? So let's do another shape, circle. You don't want none of that in your um image. Uh oh, make it small. Put it right here and slice. And you only can slice. You got to have make sure it's over two things. You cannot just slice one thing. You got to make sure you have something. On it's got to be two, and it can't be more than two. You can't slice three things at once. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and size this up. Let's do the same measurement as this one. So this one right here is eight, um, in the eight by 6.39. So we're going to go ahead and click on this and go by eight. Let's uh, eight. And it should and push enter. And that, let me see, eight. And then we're going to put six. Point three one nine six point three one nine. Do you push enter? Okay, so now we gotta play around with this. Okay, let's make this white first. Go ahead and click on the white right here to make it white. Okay, and now we're gonna be, we're gonna go ahead and click on her. Right click and move to the front, and then we're gonna just play around with her. Okay, okay. Let's see. That's almost perfect, but I might make a little. I'm make a little bit bigger, just in case, because I'm just basically making sure this this frill stuff is in here because this is what I don't want to cut. I want to make sure it go around that, so I make it a little bit um, bigger up there at the top of there. Yeah, let's make it a little bit wider. Let's go down some, or well, not the baby, but the. We're gonna make the baby smaller if we can do that. Okay, the baby smaller. Okay. 
Yeah, it does look like it's going to work. Okay, so now what I have to do is, if you want this background to be a different color, but I don't want it to be, I want it to be white, you could um, make this a different color. Instead of doing white, you can make a different color, okay? But I want it to be white. So let's go ahead and flatten this now, because you have to flatten it to make it, um, I'm sorry. You have to flatten it so it can all be in one piece. So let's go to flatten. And now it's still 8 by 6.39. Now it's together. So now you can't see the, the um, border. And I know people are telling me to use my um my canvas, my black canvas. But I don't have that circle. Something's going on with my Cricut. I don't know. It's another feature I can't use too. But I don't have to call Cricut and see. I cannot change my canvas color, okay? It's not letting me do it. Because there's supposed to be a circle right here and it's not there. So I'm going to call Cricut and see why that's not working. But for me to be able to see my color, I had to go to shapes change this to a white background and then I basically just go ahead and unlock it spread it across and then go to move to the back and then see now you can see the border okay so that's gonna be okay it's a little off but if I hmm, um delete this box behind here and I'm gonna go ahead and group it I mean flatten it then I'm going to go ahead and make it. And then what I need to do is go ahead and do this one. But then I also have to mirror another one. I'm going to print this one out. And then the next one I'm going to print out, I'm going to mirror it. So I can be able to put it behind that one. So let me go ahead and print this out. Go ahead and continue. Send a printer. Excuse my son in the background. He knows I'm doing a video. <laughs> okay, so I'm, my printer is a 7720 regular jet printer and my 7710 is my sublimation printer so I'm gonna take the bleed off hmm. take the bleed off print oh shoot I should have took the kept the bleed on because I am printing and cutting and it probably would have worked okay I'm gonna print with heavy card stock and I'm going to go ahead and what's it doing it's, it's, it's taking me to my printer I want to print it first come on now Send it to printer. Oh, it already did. Okay, so let's see how this looks. I might add the bleed on it, and I might not. So we'll see how that works, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this again. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to print. Send the printer. Send a printer and I'm also I'm gonna um mirror it. Okay, so I gotta edit it and mirror it so it can be the other way. Edit, mirror, mirror on, and then done. And I'm gonna print that after I print this one coming out. And after I get them all printed out, I will be back to show you how I put them together. Okay, I'm back, guys. I got some stuff done. I'm going to show you my pro the, the um outcome in a second. But let me go ahead and do one real quick. I have a lot more left to do. I did three of them already. But these are how they're going to look after you cut them out. Let me show you each side. This is one side. And then it's the other side. So basically, I mirrored it, okay? Okay, so now let me go ahead and... And what I do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on these sticks, on these straws. I got these straws from Party City. I'm pretty sure I got them from Party City. Yeah, from Party City. It's a whole lot of straws. I'm going to use these for other crafts, but I just thought they was pretty because they're gold. And I like the metallic, the metallic gold color, okay? Then I got these from the Dollar Tree. They're just basically um, foam boards, like little foam, floral foams. But this is what I'm going to stick the sticks in when I put them in the little um base thing okay and this base is made out of cardboard i got this from dollar tree also it comes with a top but i um don't need the top i took the top off and this is how it looks inside dollar tree so this is a dollar tree project i got everything from dollar tree except for the straws okay okay so this i have that i got my my heat my hot glue gun what i'm gonna do first is make sure these are Measure it down, make sure they're even. I put a piece of scotch tape on it just to keep them closed. You can glue it if you want to, but I just want to go ahead and put some tape on it, secure them together, and wrap it around, okay? Just like so. 
Then with the heat, you can use the heat gun. You can use whatever you want to use. I did use the, um, um, a couple of them. I did use the tacky glue. But I'd just rather just go ahead and get the heat gun out. While I got it out already, I'm just going to go ahead and use that. It dries quicker. But you got to go fast because on paper, it dries really quick. And if it don't, if it dries too quick, you got to do it over again. So what I'm going to do is just basically um, outline the whole, well, half of the um, the, the baby first. Let me pull you up some. Okay. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do first is just basically glue the half of the baby first. Outlined her like I like I'm gonna outline her in glue, just her head first. So I can her and put the um paper on the head. Just outlined it real good. Don't need much on the tip, but you just wanna make sure you have a little bit on the tip so it won't bend backwards, okay? So then I'm gonna go ahead and start and put it the head on first so it won't dry. You can't move this. When it's this glue stick, you can't move this around. When you use the tacky glue, you can move it around. Okay. Make sure you pick it up so it won't stick to the um to your table. Okay, so you just basically oh, this gets real stringy. Like I said, I'm gonna I wanted to use the, this glue because it dries quicker. But if I wasn't on the video, I probably would use the tacky glue. Okay. Make sure your heat gun is hot, y'all, because if it's not, it won't work. But mine's been on, so it's hot. Okay. Let me just get some of this off of here. So make no mess. I'm keep on going around. So I'm going to stop in the middle because I'm going to put the sticks in there. The straws, I'm sorry. Yes, it gets hot. Okay. And like I said before, I wish I, I'm going to learn how to use that silhouette because I don't like the way when you use Cricut, when I was, when I was telling y'all how I, when I cut it out, it was just all, it was uneven. Like, I don't like how it's uneven right there, but it's going to have to work. I mean, it's just my daughter baby shower, so it's not too um recognizable. But when I do, do more of these for people like my customers i will be using silhouette because silhouette is so much easier you can just put the out the outset offset on and it'd be you'd be good to go so now let me go ahead and put some glue on my straw right here on the tip of the um straw and then turn it over and put it right in the middle of her stomach okay you just push that down real good and let it sit okay I'm going to go ahead and glue the rest, outline the glue. I'm sorry. If you can't see me, I'm sorry. But all I'm doing is lining the um baby with the glue, okay? Outlining it. And I'm doing it a little bit at a time so I can press it down so it can um, the heat can touch both sides. I'm going to turn it around to the top. And I'm going to do the this part, the last. Like, I'm going to go all the way around. Then I'm going to connect it right here. So I'm going to go up here on the top, do this part, and then stop right here. While you're doing this, try to push it down some so the heat gun will. Okay. So if you like the content of this video, please subscribe to my channel. Also, um, check out my Facebook page, my Facebook group, Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. We um. I do tutorials on there and lives also to help different with different crafts. Also, I have a new group. If you're into sublimation, I have a new group. It's called um, Sublimation Blanks and Creations. I'll link all these links below in the description bar. Also, if you um, I have an Etsy page. And my Etsy page is Charming Girl Boutique Two, the number two. And I still have my projects there. If you don't want to um make your projects, I can design them for you. Okay. And there she is. Beautiful. If you can see that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But like I said, if I would um use the cricket, if I would use a silhouette and it wouldn't, it wouldn't have these um it was it's just uneven. It's a way to make it even, okay? See how it's uneven a little bit, but 
it's okay. And let me show you. Okay, I'm done with that one. Now let me show you what I did with this. Basically, I get some foam. The foam you saw right here. I got from Dollar Tree. I cut it in pieces. Just enough piece, a big enough piece to put it in the bottom of my um. Let me get that piece. I cut a couple of them about this size, and I put some glue on them. Don't put the glue in the middle. Put it on the side of it, not directly in the middle, because it won't work. And then you just drop it in here, and right and put it in the middle as fast as you can. Then just push it down there. I just use my fist. My hand's small enough to put my little hand. It's small enough to tap it with my fist because I can't use my 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 fingers because I have nails on. So I just use my fist. My, well, not my fist, my my knuckles. Put it right in the middle and let that dry for a little while. This stuff is really like it's just ugh, kind of nasty to me. I don't like the feeling. <laughs> so, okay, so I have a few more babies I'm gonna do later. Okay, so these are the ones I'm gonna finish doing. I'm gonna do seven all together and I'm gonna let me show you the some more I did already. I did this one, okay? The same thing. That's how it looks like I put it in the cup. I'm gonna put that one in the cup in a minute, too. I mean, that vase, too. I did another one right here. Okay, let me show you the outcome, the last one I've done. I mean, the one I'm all done with. Show you that real quick. Here she is. Look at that. And what I did was, I just basically did the same thing with her. I don't want to lift it up yet because then you won't see the bottom of the I'm um, glad. This is a charge. Char oh, I'm just burning myself, y'all. This is a charger plate from um Dollar Tree. Okay. And then this is marbles from Dollar Tree. And then it's a glass um plate from J Dollar Tree. Then it's the um the little roses from Dollar Tree. I just basically pull it off the stem and just set it here on top of the um on top. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna do none of these. I'm only doing one of them right now, but then when, when I'm during the baby shower, when I'm setting up, then that's when I'm gonna bring all this other stuff out and put it on the table. I gotta carry this stuff with me, so I just put everything out on the table. And, but I will do the vase part. Then I just bring everything else with me and I set it on the table. And there she is. Let me show you how the top of it look. So that's my centerpiece for my daughter's birth. My da this is the centerpiece for my daughter's baby shower, which is coming up on Saturday. Today is Saturday, so it'll be next week, next Saturday. Okay. Just, so let me go ahead and finish this one, and I'll be done. So all I need to do now is just basically. Go ahead and push her in and put some glue on the end of this. Okay, just tip some glue on both sides. And then just push her in. Put some on the bottom too. Put, put her, make sure she's straight. Hold her. Put her right here. Yeah. Okay. Just put her down some more. Usually the other ones are a little down further. Cause I, I like the way her the other ones when the baby is basically her elbow and her hand her um elbow and knee is touching oh no it's not so this is how it is I put it in here and then I basically get these I got these from Dollar Tree also little pom pom things and they sticky on the back already if you peel off they stick but I still want to put a little glue on it just for an extra hold okay and then I just look at it and see how I'm gonna place it. I want to place it high enough so it can basically cover this hole. You see this gap? I want to be able to cover the gap up, okay? And that's the reason why I got this, just for that, okay? It's, it was going pretty, so I was like, that'd be really pretty for that. So before I was going to just put it around here, and I was going to bring the baby down some. But I was like, no, nah, we can just do it like this so it can be closer to the baby. Try not to cover up the baby too much because she's so pretty. So I'm just going to put it down some just to cover that gap. Put a little glue, put a little glue on top just to hold it on there. And I just hold it on there for a little while. All right. There. And just push it on there. Let it dry for a little while. And also check out my website. www.charminggalboutique.com And also, it's a lot of... you can see a lot of links below on my description bar. I am affiliated with um, Cricut. So if you um, buy anything from Cricut, I am affiliated with them now. Also, it's a, um, it's a um, link below. Where you will see some nice, nice clip arts, okay? You, if you go ahead and um purchase from them, I will give a certain percentage, no extra cost for you, no extra cost to you. But she has some really nice graphics down there. Check her, check her out. A lot of nice graphics. If you, if you want to know where I get some from my um my clip arts from, I get it from that link below. You'll see it. And also, um, just I'm just basically putting this other one on, make sure it's up so it can 
come out a little bit. Okay, so I'm just touching, um, hold it tight. And, there, and there also it's a lot of links on, on Amazon. All the products I use, if I'm not using it from Dollar Tree, I link them down below if I get it from Amazon. And also that I also get a, a certain percentage from that if you purchase it from my links from Amazon. It's helped that that, that um extra little money, it helps with my with my channel. With her. She is beautiful. Let me fix this one a little bit. Okay. So I'm blend her up. And that's all I have for y'all today. I'm going to do a couple of more tonight. Um, let me put the finished product up here. And just keep an eye on my. Um, I have. I'm, I'm, I do it like two or three videos a week. But just basically hit that red bell so you can be able to be notified when I upload new videos. Check out my groups. Like I said, it's charming. My website is charminggalboutique.com. My Facebook groups are Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. And <clears throat> Sublimation Blatant Creations. Also, follow me on Instagram, Miss Charm Gal. And I also sell Sublimation Blanks on my website, wholesale price. So, thanks for watching. Until next time, be blessed.